everyone. And I sincerely hope that all is well with you and you're ready for today's lesson. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk again about uh, master English confusing words. Um, especially the first word, which is spelled as a D E S E R T. Um, and the second word, which is uh, spelled as a D E S E R T. As well as uh, the third word, which is uh, spelled as R E A D. And uh, finally, the fourth word, which is spelled as R E A D. Um, after that, for each word, I will give you its meaning, then I will use it in a sentence to explain it. Um, without uh, more ado, let's get into details. Um, when we take a look at these four words, um, they are spelled the same and sounds the same. However, though, um, they are different in pronunciations and meanings. Um, that make them Etronyms, um, knowing these will help and improve your English pronunciation, um, speaking and uh, listening. Now, let's study them one by one. Um, the first word, which is spelled as a D E S E R T, um, is a verb and it is pronounced as a desert you should exaggerate repeat after me desert um, it means to leave to abandon to go away from a person or something let's get an example for it um, my nay the third is a family and move on to the second word which is also spelled as a D E S E R T um, it is pronounced as a Desert. Repeat after me. Desert. And uh, it is a noun. Um, it means a large and dry area with sand where there is very little water and few plants. Let's get an example for it. Um, Sahara. Desert has a lot of sand. Um, move on to our third word, which is spelled as R E A D. Um, it is a verb and it is pronounced as a Read, repeat after me, read, and it means to comprehend or understand letters and words. Um, let's have uh, an example for it. Do you have uh, any Books. To read. And uh, finally, our last word um, is spelled as a R E A D. And uh, it is a noun. 
and it is pronounced as red. And it is the past tense and past participle of the verb read. And let's have an example for that. John read a book last month. Um, that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Um, I behest you enjoy it. Please do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel, hit the like button, share and uh, comment because this might be the only way to help and uh, assist me to continue doing content as well. Your support is very important for my growing channel. Then do not forget to watch the next episode in order to improve your vocabulary especially about the confusing words. Thank for studying today. I behest wherever you are, you're having a great day. Bye.